Dyslexia. What is it? A learning disability involving difficulties in acquiring and processing language that is typically manifested by a lack of proficiency in reading, spelling, writing, and math. We live in a world of words. They're everywhere! Now more than ever, there's no avoiding them. Most people use them without even thinking. But for some people, well... So what causes dyslexia? Do you know that even the experts can't agree on that? One lady says one thing and the next guy says something else. It all depends on where they're coming from. And each one of them is going to tell you what kind of therapy is best. But hey, if you're one of the 20 million adults in America who have dyslexia, or if you're among the 10 to 20% of kids at your school who live with it every day, then none of this is news to you. You've already been told that people like movie director Steven Spielberg and business magnate Richard Branson both consider themselves dyslexic. A lot of famous and successful people are, so you know you're in good company, right? Hi, Tom. You've already been told that just because you have dyslexia doesn't mean you aren't super creative and smart. You just have to work twice as hard as your buddy to get the same result. Finished! But did anyone ever tell you dyslexia can be reversed? What? Well, according to Dr. Phyllis Books, dyslexia can be reversed. She has treated thousands of kids and adults and has witnessed 80% of them get back their superpowers. And did I mention she has a new book telling you all about it? Even the title gives it away. Dr. Books redefines dyslexia, challenging the traditional views on the issue. Sure, she tells you what clues to look for as possible signs of dyslexia, but you'll be surprised to hear that it's not just all about letters and numbers in your brain. Dr. Books says, dyslexia is a complex neurological issue involving brain synchronization and neurological dysregulation, which may appear to varying degrees in relation to reading, math, spelling, physical coordination, memory, and decision making. What? Okay, those are the only big words in the book. Trust me, it's super easy to understand. Basically, she's saying that dyslexia involves your brain and your body, the nervous system to be exact. And guess where that is? It's everywhere inside you. Your brain, your body, even your skin. That brain synchronization, neurological dysregulation thing? She means your timing belt is off. Or like you have neural gaps that need to be fixed. She explains that these gaps may have happened at some point when your brain and body were first talking to each other. Something may have happened while your brain was developing that created a roadblock. A traumatic birth a fall off your bike, or even a tough divorce. Don't worry, it all makes sense in her book. My favorite part? She tells you that what's best for a developing brain and body is playing music and playing games, and she doesn't mean video games. In the book, she explains how sugar is evil. Okay, not evil, but she says there are some things that you eat that can possibly be getting in the way of those neural pathways working smoothly. You know, those pathways that help you read and write, like your hearing, your eyesight, your motor skills. Whoa there, Nellie. You forgot to tell them. There is hope in them there, Pages. Hope, because based on new science, there are other ways of improving dyslexia that don't involve the usual tricks and workarounds. And just because you might be dyslexic right now, doesn't mean you have to be for the rest of your life. So, be brave and bold like Reversing Dyslexia Man. And pick up Dr. Books' book, Reversing Dyslexia, Improving Learning and Behavior Without Drugs, to learn how new discoveries in neuroscience can provide hope for reversing dyslexia. Hey brain, that's a tongue twister. Can you say that 10 times fast? Books is book, books is book, books is book.